Hi everyone, this is Matteo from Codobo and today we are going to meet with Justin Friedman who will share with us his story but he will also tell us more about uh, his experience as a WordPress freelancer but that's not all, he will also tell us a bit more about working as a Codobo expert letting us know how this experience in a way changed his life so hey Justin, thank you for joining us in this new episode of Changing Life, we really appreciate it Thanks, Mateo. Really, really happy to be here. Very, very excited to do this awesome. segment. So let's let's get started. So let's do it. What, yeah. So why don't you tell us in which part of the world are you right now? Where are you from? And most importantly, how long have you been a freelancer? No problem. So I'm in uh, cloudy Vancouver, Canada, which is for those of you that don't know, um, just a couple hours drive north of Seattle on the west coast. Uh -huh. I'm nice. originally from uh, Calgary, Alberta, which is. Uh, just a prairie city outside of the Rocky Mountains east of here. So uh, I also lived for a year in Australia and a couple years in Germany in between there. Ooh. And um, why I became a freelancer? Uh, so many reasons, but yeah, before how long going into how, that, how long yeah, have you been? How long have I been a freelancer? So I would say my first freelance project was when I was 16 in high school mm -hmm. where I built the website for the elementary school oh, uh, nice. up the street from us. Yeah, they didn't have one. And this is way back in the day when we were using GeoCities and things like that. Oh, yeah, if I any of you guys those. remember that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, in between there, I obviously had salary jobs, big companies, small companies, but I've been freelancing full time since around 2010. So around seven years. Around seven years. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. So, Let's, you know, go in, into more details. So would you mind telling us what do you like about, you know, being a freelancer? I mean, why did you choose to start working by yourself, gamble on yourself and not end up in a regular nine to five job? Um, well, I was always doing side projects anyway, mm -hmm. um, but it just kind of came about when I was living in Germany and I was there on a, a school visa learning German. So I had a couple of com uh, companies back home that were interested in giving me some work. So I just started uh, freelancing for them from there to earn a living. Um, aside from that, I mean, I mostly was sort of a contractor, freelance contractor to uh, uh -huh. agencies. I wasn't doing a lot of direct to client work. Uh, I was mostly working with, you know, uh, a project manager or another developer from another agency to do their overflow work or just do projects for them. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, after a while, it was pretty nice, but then I ran into some of the same problems as a salary job where you can't really pick your projects. You're not uh, playing to your strengths and you're maybe doing some, some of the work that you're not super passionate about. So, um, okay. Yeah, uh, so I was, yeah, that's the same, similar problem you run into when you're in a salary job, right? You can't really say, "Hey, I don't, I don't want to do this," or "This isn't the best fit for me." Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. So okay. I kind of ran the same thing with the agency contracting because they're basically like, "Here's the work we need you to do," and you're like, "Okay, I need to get paid, so I'll do it." Yeah. Regardless, okay. if it's strong for me or not. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for that. No and. We are at the beginning of, the, of this interview, I know that, but I already have a super tough question. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, what does it take to be a good freelancer? And do you think anybody can be one? Just to clarify my question, on top of my head, I think that dealing with, dealing with clients, dealing with deadlines, with tight deadlines, sorry, uh, budgeting or planning your time and resources isn't, you know, natural for many. So what the... What do you think? Uh, what does it take to be a good freelancer? Well, I think anyone can try. Um, <laughs> yeah, <sure. laughs> but to be a successful one, it's a lot more difficult than that. I mean, aside from being able to actually do the work, like you said, there's a lot of other elements to being a good freelancer. So the way I think about it is you have to wear many hats, like mm -hmm. you're in a startup, and you have to wear them all well. So, um, you know, when you're speaking with clients online, you have to have the best communication you can possibly have. Um, I'd say that's 90% of the work almost, is communicating, um, dealing with expectations, um, getting a clear picture of the project, all these things. So hat number one is sort of the sales project manager hat that yeah. you're wearing and you're like, hey, you know, uh, what is your project exactly? Um, here are some solutions that I think that we can do. And then you're like, let's work together. So then you become you know, put on the developer hat next and you actually do the work. And then from there you put on the QA hat and test your work. And then after that you put on the sort of client support hat and deliver your work and be there to 
answer any questions, explain in detail what you did. So all in all, you have to wear all those hats really well to make like a unified you know, solution. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So um, that's what I think it takes. And I've been learning a lot uh, since I've been on Codable. So um, yeah. like I said, I was mostly working with agencies. So mm -hmm. doing direct to work direct client work has been a new a newer experience for me and i'm really loving it so okay. i'm learning a lot there yeah yeah we get there i mean yeah for sure <laughs> okay uh yeah I, I guess that you know having you know wearing so many hats could be you know a challenge for somebody but you know it's yeah it's it's, still, it, it's also you know something that every day you you feel challenged so maybe you you really need to step up your game i mean Yeah. You know, I'm learning every day, though, and I really am stepping it up. I'm just learning new things from the colleagues at Codable and and just I, but I mean, it comes down to some common sense, like just treat people really great. Treat people the way you want to be treated. Yeah. yeah. Find uh, find clients that are as passionate about their projects as you are. And really, the stuff just works themselves out. It just works itself out. You just everybody's like really on the same page and yeah. I really like it. So yeah, couldn't agree more yeah. with you. Man. Yeah, it's <laughs> awesome. And what made you look for something new in your freelancing life? In fact, like Codable, I mean, was there a specific reason like you didn't like uh, your previous jobs, the where the way you were working before probably or in a way you felt like you were missing on something in, in your professional life? Yeah. So like I said, I was remote freelancing for uh, agencies, right? Yeah. So and uh, through that, I was never, ever really getting any community. Mm -hmm. So I didn't have really many people to, you know, talk shop with and knowledge share and grow and things like that. And um, when I found Codable, I heard there, you know, we're not, you know, we're a community in the background here of like people help each other. And that was like one of the biggest sells for me for Codable. I was like, I need that. I'm at home here. I'm by myself. You know, wife's at work. I need, uh, you know, I need to shoot the, the stuff with other people as well. So, um, the other major thing was, um, uh, like I said, I had no control over the projects I kind of was taking. So it was still kind of like a salary job and it was, you know, out of, like requirements from the agencies, like, here's the next project for you. It's like, okay. Yeah. It's like, this is the kind of project I totally want to do, but I'm going to do it. Uh, need to get paid and things like that. But on Codable, I'm able to pick and choose the projects and the people I'd like to work with so I can really play to my strengths rather than my weaknesses. And I can also uh, look at new things that are being posted and learn those things on the side and, you know, try to improve my personal s skills and things like that. So... That's the main reason. I just wanted control over the process, the, the, the deadlines, the client expectations. You know, those were all kind of just fed to me before. Mm -hmm. Now I can actually control those things and really give that full experience, which okay. I think was lacking at some of my previous employment areas. So, okay. yeah. Since you brought it up, uh, what type of project do you see yourself strongest at? I, I mean, a qu uh, quick project like, you know, those that can be done probably in a day or more complex one that might keep you busy, I don't know, for a week or... I'm doing all of those somehow. Ooh, so nice. initially, initially I started out doing uh, as many small jobs as I could possibly get because I still had a lot of existing work. So I could only pick up the one to two hour jobs and I really enjoyed them. Um, I love the website optimization jobs. Um, mm -hmm. It's a real passion to make people's sites fast and the uh, how appreciative they are when you're done because they can see the difference. The result, when you're, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's really nice to have like, sort of res results driven work when you're like, here's your before stats and here's your after. And regardless of the metrics, they're, they're on their site. They can see how yeah, much faster I mean. it is. So um, I really do love those because people get to um, – i mean, having a fast website is just so important these days. So, yeah. and I just love tinkering with it, love getting it uh, just as fast as I possibly can. So, <laughs> nice. um, but on the other hand, I'm also working on a really huge job right now. So, mm -hmm. like a multi-month job that Ooh, I uh, nice. I picked up through a great client uh, by optimizing his website. Oh. And then he's like, "Hey, can you also do this?" And I was like, "I sure can." <laughs> so, uh, and then we just just move on from there. So yeah, I've been working on that and that's been going since I think November. So um, yeah, I'm kind of doing it all. And then in between, I'll pick up a few small jobs here and there or through my repeat clients if they need something, you know, and breaks up the really, really big work into, you know, some different things for smaller tasks. So okay, yeah. And um, do you remember how many projects you worked on and completed? A rough number, uh, I mean, it would 
I think, yeah, I think I'm at 106 Ooh, now. Nice. So I just recently broke 100, and I'm yeah, you, you know, really happy about that. So congrats. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> and, no, I'm really excited about that. Yeah, of course. I mean, it's a huge achievement. And how long have you been a Codable expert? So I got my certification in August 2016. So it's what, about five months ago? But I was, like I said, I was really um, still completing other work and other obligations I had at my other contracts. So I was just picking up a few small tasks here and there and just trying to build up my numbers and trying to meet clients and get, get to know the community. I was taking it slow. Yeah. Um, but yeah, then as things just got going, it snowballed like crazy and there's just no stopping it. I was just getting preferreds and repeat work and Which is awesome. uh, I mean, yeah, it's just been incredible. Like I just can't say enough about it. Uh, as long as you put the work in, yeah. you know, it's a little slow to get started if you're sort of new to the system, but you know, take everybody goes at their own pace. So take your own time and then it just, it just starts happening. Just, you just, yeah. Just work on your own experience with clients and work on delivering the codable promise, the quality work, and the rest just seems to happen. happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It does. So, so. Um, so let me ask you this. Uh, you partially already, you know, mentioned something about this topic, but how things are going here at Codable? You were talking about the community. You were talking some other uh, improvements or uh, like things that, you love to, to to have found it here at Cordable. Do you have anything you know you want you would like to share with us? I just like to say that the community and the staff are just incredible. Like uh, I talk with, you know, yeah, <laughs> David and David, Chris, Raleigh. Oh, these guys are just incredible. And um, you know, we talk on a daily basis. Um, per catches up with me at least once every two weeks to say I'm doing a great job. I mean, that is I just find that awesome yeah um it's really nice that you know it's, you know there's how many of us here like over 200 and something now and per still finds more the time. than 255 yeah right and per still finds the time to private message me and say hey you're doing great you know like always looking out and i really think that's amazing so on top of that like i said uh, we have the slack community and mm -hmm. uh, I've, I've made some true friends on there and i've had really great advice from people like nate and raleigh and you know, just that sharing atmosphere has been a real mind changer and the pay it forward sort of thing at, at Codable exists. So I've done the same thing. I see some new guys come in and they're struggling a bit. I'll private message them and I'll say, hey, don't worry about it. Here's kind of how things work. If you have any questions, I'm here. Like, I'll help you out as well. Yeah, and you almost mentored them like, you know, at the beginning, yeah. right? Yeah, exactly. Because I got mentored at nice. the beginning. Yeah. I got help and I got advice on the things that my things were like, hey, I'm not a great sales guy. I know I'm so confident in my work, but how do I express that to people, which I've now figured out. And I've been, you know, I figured that part out. But at the start, it was really weird for me, right? Yeah, so I was like, of hey, course. I mean, hey. look at, look at the, all these great tasks being posted every day. And you're like, hey, I can do that. I can do that. But then... How can I be the one to do that? <laughs> it's a tough question, but you know, we figured it out. It's only been five months, so uh, yeah, it's, no, yeah. it's it's crazy how fast things move. So, thank you, yeah. thank you for sharing that, Justin. Yeah, and um, let me just you know take a, a step back. So a more wide <laughs> a, a wider topic. Uh, if you look at your past freelancing life, you know the one that you were telling before. You know, working with agency mostly. And then you fast forward to today when you're more in charge of your path. How things mm -hmm. have changed for you since you've joined Codable? I mean, are they any different? Yeah, they're very different. Um, first of all, I work a lot more. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Uh, I, have, uh, yeah. I mean, if you want to work more, that's, that's I mean, the yeah, perfect I sentence. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting um, lots of quality projects now, ones that are more suited to my needs and that's more more suited to my strengths. Even though I have a pretty wide sort of skill set, um, you know, there's certain things that I certainly like doing more than others. But um, I definitely love, you know, the the PSD to WordPress jobs, and I love uh, fixing people's plugins, troubleshooting websites. Those are the really great projects in my mind, but they're also the most difficult ones to estimate because um, you sometimes just cannot predict how long fixing a bug will take on someone's site, right? But um, I think the thing that's changed the most is just that I've met some really great friends and I've been in oh. Codables put me in front of these amazing clients. Like 
Um, I have amazing repeat clients already, which is just incredible. And you can really find that those clients that fit your personality. It's somewhat trial and error, but you know it happens. You just get out there and do projects, and then you build rapport with people, and you just really there's a whole bunch that you would like to work with, and they like to work with you. So no, I think that's the biggest match. thing. I mean, yeah. It's- but like I said, the thing that was lacking the most for me by far was community. Yeah. So now I have people that I talk with on a daily basis. We'll talk about technical problems. Maybe we'll talk about client projects. You know, this thing that I was definitely lacking before. And the thing that lacks for any sort of remote freelancer that doesn't have an office and the colleagues to do this. But now you kind of have it. You have that virtual colleague environment. And um, it really makes a difference. It makes a huge difference. Yeah. 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 Okay, so we're almost there. I mean, um, I guess you must quite be quite happy about this new freelancing life. Mm-hmm. But let me ask you one last thing. I know some other experts like you after working with us for some time have been able to, let's see, travel more, which is one, which is my favorite thing. And yep, then invest in their business with, I don't know, better software or gear or even put down a deposit for a new house or just have been able to, you know, set some money. Uh, aside for some real good saving, for example. How about you? Did you do anything like that? Are you planning to do anything like this? Honestly, not really. Um, okay. Um, to be fair, I'm not. I'm a pretty frugal person. I'm not looking to uh, spend a bunch of money. Um, when the when the wife and I do spend a lot of money, it is usually on traveling. So, I think if anything, we would sort of uh, the next trip will be a little more blown out and a little more uh you know (laughs) we'll get we'll get a better hotel than usual and thing like that and try to relax because she works a lot too so Uh you know i think it'll just be more about enjoying Enjoying the time that we have just enjoying that as much as possible and making new experiences and seeing new countries that is one of my favorite things to do for sure um that's yeah, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean what more can you ask for? Yeah, you know, I mean, lots when, of work can, and... when you can travel and see the world and do the yeah. things that you like, I mean, what more I mean, do you want? I mean, yeah. it's, it's everything it's fantastic. you need, right? Yep. <laughs> well, Justin, it was super interesting hearing your story. Thank you for sharing it with us, with me. And once again, I would like to thank you very much for spending your time with me and all of us. So I wish you a great day and talk to you soon. Thanks a lot, Matteo. Yeah. Thanks a lot for doing this. Yeah, you're Take welcome. Take care. Take care. I just like to say that the community and the staff are just incredible. You know, we talk on a daily basis. Um, per catches up with me at least once every two weeks to say I'm doing a great job. I mean, that is, I just find that awesome.